The U.S. and Russia at odds in the United Nations, a familiar scene not just in recent months, but through decades. The leader of what was then the Soviet Union launches another attack on Western powers in the General Assembly, head of a communist empire striving to be a dominant power, striding ahead in the space race, developing an overwhelming stockpile of nuclear weapons, and as part of Cold War expansion, sending troops into Afghanistan. But the strength of Afghan resistance undermined the Soviet myth of unmatchable power and depleted diminishing state coffers. A new US president and his futuristic Star Wars missile defense system further challenged the Soviets to increase their military spending. He was joined by a trusted ally who gave permission for US cruise missiles to be deployed on UK soil. And a former Polish priest became the third member of the anti-Soviet alliance. Pope John Paul II's trip back to his native Warsaw in 1979 galvanized the labor movement as revolution spread throughout Eastern Europe. The fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989, a literal confirmation that the Soviet communist system had crumbled. The policies of glasnost or openness and perestroika restructuring introduced by President Mikhail Gorbachev played their role in destroying the system they were designed to rebuild. Hardline communists took to the streets in a last-ditch effort to save the USSR, but were repulsed by crowds with a controversial figure of Boris Yeltsin in the lead. In a televised address, Mikhail Gorbachev stepped down as Soviet president. The old system collapsed before the new one had time to begin working, he said. And the Soviet flag that had flown over the Kremlin for more than seven decades was lowered. A month later, the man who had become president took the seat of Russia in the UN Security Council for the first time. His Excellency Vladimir Putin. On the 70th anniversary of the United Nations, it was Vladimir Putin who spoke as a leader of what had once again become a nation competing for dominance on the global stage. This statue is made of materials from dismantled Soviet and U.S. missiles. It stands in the U.N. gardens as a reminder of the day when the two nations were on the brink of nuclear war. A reminder too, perhaps, for leaders of today that all power is transient. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera at the United Nations.